cooking. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people just don't have the time or equipment to do it. We hear all of these scenarios in the Nerd Fitness community and our coaching program. So today, I'm gonna go through a no cook challenge and see if I can make six healthy meals with no cooking whatsoever. Let's see how it goes. What's up everyone, Coach Jim here. Before we dive in, a little bit about myself. I love to cook. Now, I might not be the best at it, but that's never stopped me from any of my hobbies before. And I also work from home, so that means I've got a lot more time and freedom to cook. But I understand that not everyone's in this situation. You might not have the time, equipment, or even inclination to wanna to cook, and that's totally fine. If you're in that situation, I wanna help you by challenging myself to put together two breakfasts, two lunches, and two dinners that require no cooking. And let me drop some rough ground rules around what no cooking means for this challenge. First rule, no stove, no oven. I can use the microwave to heat stuff up, but even that's optional in some cases, and we'll use it minimally. Second rule, no chopping, minimal prep time. I want these meals to be brutally simple, and extra prep work takes up so much time. Third rule, I'll look to make each meal fairly balanced and healthy. So that means a source of protein, some carbs, a fruit or veggie in each meal, and some healthy fats in some of the meals. And finally, I'm not getting any takeout or fully prepared meals. They're usually more expensive, and I don't think anyone needs a video on how to order takeout. Although another challenge where I find decent takeout options could be a good video. Let me know if you'd like to see that, comment below. And these meals are less about giving you a specific recipe and more about giving you some new ideas. Like they say, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, give a man some canned fish, and he'll make a silly video. All right, got that? Good, good. On to breakfast. It's breakfast and you're probably thinking about eggs. I know I do. I buy them five dozen at a time. But cooking up eggs takes time. Luckily, you can already buy them pre-hard boiled. These do tend to be a little dry though, so adding in a condiment like mustard is a great low calorie option here. Drop that in a tortilla or pita pocket, add some spinach or not, and then pair it with a piece of fruit and you're good to go. Another great breakfast option is Greek yogurt. Now, get the plain variety and you'll be getting more protein and less sugar than regular yogurt. You can then mix in granola, raisin bran, or shredded wheat, and then top it with your favorite berry. I picked blueberries in this case. Boom, done, another meal knocked out. Bonus meal. I can't talk about super easy breakfasts without talking about overnight oats. This might be on the edge of the rules for this challenge as you do have to prep this the night before, but there's still no cooking and it's super quick and easy. Scoop some oats in a jar, stir in some protein powder, add some peanut butter if you'd like, and then put in your favorite milk. Stir all that up and let it sit in the fridge overnight. The next morning, just have that with a piece of fruit. Lunch time. Here I opted for canned chicken, which is a great shelf-stable option. You can also use rotisserie chicken that you find at the supermarket, and I do that all the time. I just wasn't sure if this was quite within the rules of the no cooking challenge, because it's kind of close to prepared food or takeout. In any case, drop your protein on a bed of chickpeas or 90 second microwave rice. Now, if either of these options sound dull, grab some spices or hot sauces and shake them on. Do this with any of these meals. It's like a cheat code for tasting good. Now this meal is lacking in fruits and healthy fats, so I can just easily pair it with a clementine and a handful of mixed nuts. Keep it simple. Next meal. Now, it wouldn't be a fitness video unless I included protein powder at least twice. It's a great source of protein that you can mix up with your favorite milk. Next, to knock out carbs and fats, whole wheat bread with some peanut butter. You can pair that with a banana and you're good to go. I'd slice up the banana and put it on top of the bread, but that's too much prep work. Protein for this first dinner can be canned chicken again, or you can even grab canned pork or roast beef. If you're really hating all these canned options, you could look into deli meats and such, but you're probably going to be getting in a bit more sodium and preservatives. Do what makes sense for you though. Again, these are all ideas to swirl around. Anyways, take your protein source, 
put it on top of some black beans, add some tomatoes and guac. You can even eat it with a tortilla, and there's your first dinner option. All right, last meal option. Now, I wanted to buy a shrimp platter and then just put that over a salad, but the supermarket didn't have that. So I'm going with the much less thrilling option of canned tuna. Now, you can go with any canned fish for this meal. Canned sardines are another great option, although I do understand it takes some getting used to. Canned fish is another protein that you can mix with mustard if you need a little bit more moisture, or get the sardines that come in olive oil. You could then drop this over a bag salad or over some butter lettuce leaves. This lettuce is awesome and works well for a salad base or for quick wraps if you're cutting back on carbs. We can then elevate the whole thing a little bit by adding some tomatoes and olives too. If we are looking for carbs here, I could easily pair this with a piece of whole wheat bread or wrap everything up in a tortilla. And if you need some salad dressing, you can just use the one that's provided with the bag salad or you can mix up some olive oil and red wine vinegar for an easy option. You could even just take some lemon juice and squirt it over top. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, lightning round bonus tips. Now, I paired a piece of fruit with a lot of these meals, but you can just as easily pick up a pre-cut fruit bowl or even a veggie platter. You can also eat any of these meals any time of the day. I put the egg wrap in the morning for breakfast, but no reason you couldn't have it for lunch or dinner. Lastly, there's no reason you couldn't bulk cook any of these options. It'll save you even more time. And that's the no cook challenge. Six plus balanced meals that'll fill you up with minimal time in the kitchen. What did you think? Which meal was your favorite? And which was a total abomination that should never be put together ever again? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're looking for some more fun and helpful fitness videos, subscribe to the channel and check out my 4 a.m. challenge video where I wake up super early for a week. And this other video where I try out Batman's workouts.